Hi everyone, it's Paula here from Craftables. I'm just here to share our uh, layout with you for this week. This is a um, flip open, what have I called it? Flip open, beautiful layout. So this one actually has about three pages on it, so you can use a lot of you can use a lot more photos than I've put on here. So it does open up, and we have that on the inside there. So you could add way more photos on here if you wanted. This is for the journaling down the bottom here. So this is a four by six photo and on this side we have a three by four and a four by six photo so you could add more photos to this if you wanted to you could have a couple going down there if you want you could put more journaling on there and then we have an acetate window which co opens and closes down that way there so that's our layout for today so I'll just pop that aside and we'll get started so we will need two pattern papers that are maybe coordinating if you like. So these ones are actually from the same collection. I think they're a Stamperia one. So I've got two coordinating papers and I need a 12 by 12 white cardstock as well. Plus maybe another 12 by 12 white to cut out all your photo mats. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've cut out one of my papers, one of my pattern papers for the base of my scrapbook layout there so I actually have cut this down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half so there does seem to be like quite a big white border around there but that actually goes down a bit later so this back piece is 11 and a half by 11 and a half now if you wanted to save on your cardstock for your photo mats you could come in one inch on all four sides here and you could cut that middle piece out because we actually don't need that middle piece. So if you wanted to cut that middle piece out of this backing paper, you could do that and that could you could probably get maybe two two of your four by sixes out of there or a couple more three by fours. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but if you wanted to, just come in about an inch on all sides, measure in, and then you're just going to cut out that middle piece there. And then you could use that middle piece for something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to stick this one down just yet. I want to put my opening page on there. So my next coordinating paper is this one. Now I've left this one at 12 by 12 inches, but I'll show you what I've done. So I've actually cut this one down to 12 by 11. So this side up here needs to be 12. So your highest, the point, the top point of your card, uh, sorry, of your paper needs to be 12 inches. And then down this side, I've cut it down to 11. So on this paper, I've actually, I'm have i just going to cut this top piece off. So I'll just grab my trimmer. And I'm going to bring this to 11 inches. If you can see very well there. So I'm going to bring this side to 11 inches. So I'm just going to cut that top piece off there. So when you've come to finish this, you will have... This will be 11 inches along this way, but it will be, sorry, sorry, it will be 12 inches along that way and 11 inches down this way. So what we need to do on this, on the opposite side of the window there, now this window I've cut out with um, my silhouette actually, so what I'm going to do is let you know what size that window is. So that window is about four and a half, just under four and a half inches in diameter, and I've made sure that I cut it out so that when I pop it over my my backing one that there I've got it in a place where there's a flower showing from the back there like that so whatever paper you use you could just put you could cut a square out if you wanted you could have um, a smaller circle a bigger circle a smaller square bigger square whichever what you want to show through from your backing paper is what you'll put here so that one's just under four and a four and a half wasn't it sorry I'll just measure that again yep just under four and a half and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. So I'm going to bring it over and I want to score three quarters of an inch down here. So it's opposite side to where my window is going to be. So I'm just going to measure that up to three and a quarter, sorry, three quarters of an inch there. Getting really muddled up with all my measurements today. This is my second video I've done with all these bad measurements I'm giving. So three quarters of an inch. And we're just going to score down there. So what that does is that gives us a, a hinge to put around the back of our, our base paper there. So I'm just going to score down on there. Alright, so this piece now can go onto your backing sheet of paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on there. It is going to be smaller than my back paper. So I do want my background paper to show through. So this piece here with my flap on. I'm going to put some tape underneath there and I'm going to stick it down 
behind my backing sheet like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some tape on there. I'm just going to put another strip down there because we've got a three quarter inch gap there so we can put two layers of two thicknesses of tape on there just to make sure it doesn't move and come off because this will be opening and shutting quite a lot so this piece now is going to be adhered to the back of my base paper right. so I'm just going to make sure it's all lined up evenly on there Got it, got it where I want it to be there hopefully and I'm just going to fold this around the back there so it's nice and tight up against that edge there we go oops it came off a bit there there we go all right so that's how we make our opening piece there so this is now on the back of that I've just put that piece there Okay, so what we can do now is we can pop this back onto our white base paper and I'm just going to put another strip of tape down there. So I have already put tape around my whole piece there, so now we can pop that onto this one here. Now I want this one opening from my left hand side like a door would. But you could have it opening the other way if you like. There we go. So that's nicely centered there. Okay, so that's the base of our cut of our layout there. So there's our opening piece there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a little bit of acetate in this window. So I'm going to have I've got a piece of um, circle acetate here. It's a bit hard to see, but I'm actually going to pop that onto the front there. But in, to do that, what I've actually done is I've cut out two frames to go around the outside of that circle there. So this frame middle is the same as my middle I've got here. And then it's about, uh, about an eighth of an inch thick, even maybe a bit bigger than that. So I'm going to glue around the outside of my frame and I'm going to pop my acetate onto that circle there. So the acetate is exactly the same size as the whole circle. And the inner part of this circle is the same size as this circle on here. So I'm just going to glue my acetate onto my frame. I don't want too much glue because acetate tends to spread it out a little bit. So I've just got a very thin layer of glue on there. And I'm just going to pop that on there. There we go, make sure it's all sticking down nice and tight there. So now that I've got my acetate on my frame, I'm going to now stick that frame over that circle that I have there. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the outside there around my frame. And I'm just going to pop that around the circle on my paper there. There we go. Awesome. So now we have that window. And a little frame around the window. So on the other side, inside of there now, let's bring that across. I want to put another frame around this piece. So I've cut two frames out, and one's going to go on the front, and one is going to go on this back piece here. So it gives it a nice, nice finished look to it. So I'm just going to glue that down there. There we go. So that's just going to glue right around the outside of that circle window. Just to make it look a bit more finished. Here we go. Lovely. Okay, so that part's done. Very easy, easy page to do if you want to get lots of photos in. You could even add another one opening this way on this side if you want. So you could have them opening both ways like that. And I'll show you how to put this into your page protector at the end of the video. All right, so I want this piece here is going to be on the outside of your one, sorry, your page protector. So these photos will be protected in here, but this one won't be. So what I've done is I wanted to keep it protected. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of acetate to the same exact size as my photo mat, and I've attached it together with some brads. So before you put this acetate on, I suggest you put your photo on first, but 
I haven't got a photo at the moment, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. So then when this is out of on your album, you're still going to have a nice protected photo on here. So I did cut, um, I have cut these little butterflies out in the middle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig into my paper there and I'm just going to cut out those little butterflies just roughly. So I'm cutting quite close to them because I just didn't want to waste those butterflies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those butterflies out in a little while. But now we have a hole in our paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover that up with one of our photos. So I have this, three, uh, I think it's six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I've already cut out a piece of acetate that is exactly the same size. And I would put my photo down on there first, put the acetate over the top. And then I'm going to poke a hole in the corners. So you may end up poking a hole through your photo as well. But that's okay because you won't want to move it anyway. So in order to hold the acetate on there, you're just going to put the brad through and split the pins on the back. Like that. And we're going to do that on all four corners. So there's the second brad there. And this will hold your photo nice and tight there as well. And it's going to... Be nice and protected on the front of your album there so this side too put the bread in again let's put the pins on the back and that last corner there as well there we go that's where my last break gone there it is Okay, so that now has a nice protected photo on it, and I'm going to stick that right over where I've cut out those butterflies. So I've just I've already put some tape on here, so I'm just going to pop the tape on now. Take the backing off. And we're going to pop the 4x6 photo right over the top of that piece that we've cut out from there, so that we're going to cover that up. There we go. Alright, so that's the photo that I've got on the front. So now we also have the hole on the inside here, which we want to cover up as well. So I've got another four and a quarter by six and a quarter that fits a four by six photo on, and I'm going to pop that over top there. So now I've managed to use my butterflies out of the centre here and covered it up with a photo so that we're getting it the most we can out of our papers. So that one's just going to cover over that hole. Easy peasy. Okay, so that'll fit a 4x6 photo. And then I'm just going to put another 4x6 photo here. So I'm going to put one there. And then I have a 3x4. So you could either put it there or you could pop it down the bottom here on an angle. You could have it up that way like that and do some journaling across here. You can place your photos wherever you want them to go on here. You could add more photos if you want. You could do a couple of light small ones instead of a four by sixes. So I'm just going to pop that one there. And then I'm actually going to pop this one here because I'm going to do a bit more journaling down the bottom of this piece here. Okay. So I'm going to put mine that way around and I'm going to pop it there. So now I've got two photos on there. I have one photo on this side, but you could add another one there if you want. Um, down here I wanted to do some journaling, but I haven't decided what I was going to write or which photos I was going to put on there yet. So what I've actually done is I've cut a piece of um, the three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece, which I cut down to, sorry, three and a quarters by four and three quarters. And I've cut them into a quarter inch strips. So this is quarter of an inch by three and a quarter. So I've just cut a couple of those. And I've just popped them down underneath my photo so I can write my journaling on there. So I'll go ahead and pop a couple down just so you can see what I'm doing. I won't do all of them because you'll be standing here waiting for me for ages. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pop one there. And I'm going to just off-center it just a tiny bit so that it's just a little bit off this other side here. There 
There we go, and there's a little gap between them. So you can carry on and do that to your heart's content. If you just want to put a date on there, you could just put a date on. If you want to do some journaling, you can write on these little bits when you're ready to do your journaling. There we go, so that I've got three going a bit more crooked that way, so I'm going to come back the other way now and do some more crooked this way. So I'm going to go back this way, just, just to give it a bit of extra sort of um, aesthetics when you look at it. But if you want to keep them all nice and straight, go right ahead and do that. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm just doing as many as I can put on there, so I've got some extra room to do some journaling. And I might just pop one more on there. Okay. She might come back this way. All right, so you can put some more down there if you wanted to. So now on my paper, this paper here, when I cut out that flower, uh, sorry, when I cut out that circle, I had a big flower in the middle that I ended up cutting out. So what I've done is I've just fussy cut around it. So this actually cut out into a circle, which was this piece here. And I thought I could actually use that flower as well. So I've actually fussy cut out around there. And I'm going to pop that onto the inside of my photo. Sorry, inside of my page here. So you could pop that up with foam tape if you want to. I'm just going to stick it down with normal tape. You could glue it, whichever you prefer. So I just didn't want to waste any of my paper bits on there. And I thought the flower's too pretty not to put on. So it's just another added element to the inside of your scrapbook page. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it up that way. I'm just going to pop it over my photo a little bit there. Okay, so that one, that flower there again, was the one that I cut out the circle from. And then I've just ended up using it in there as well. Alright, so I have a little title here called Beautiful. And I'm just going to pop that down the bottom here. So down on this bottom right hand corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that. I just need to find my glue. Oh, I think it's under here. There it is. And I'm just going to pop it on the back of my word and just glue that down to my front of my layout. Oops. There we go. So I'm just going to put that right down the bottom of that front window there. There we go. Now the other thing, we're going back to the butterflies now that I cut out earlier. So I'm just going to cut out... And I fussy cut out one of the all three of the butterflies, but I'll just do one to show you what I'm doing so you're not watching me fussy cut for ages. So I have got three butterflies on the front of my cards, uh, sorry, of my layout there. So what I have done is I've just bent the wings up a little bit like that, and I've put a strip of glue down his middle of his body there. And I've glued him there, and I glued one here, and the other little one there, I glued onto the acetate itself. So, as you can see, we have one of the butterflies here, another one up there, and then I've just put the little little butterfly on the acetate there. So you can go ahead and do that. And to add a bit of interest to it as well, I've actually added up, ended up putting a little bit of glitter glue onto my words and onto my butterflies there. Okay, so that is our page for the day. So what I'll do is I'll just show you quickly how to pop this onto your front into your page protectors. Now what I've done is I've popped my my uh, layout inside my page protector here. So I'm just going to pop it in there, the whole thing. Sorry about that. So it's on my page protector there. So I just measured from where that opening piece was. So this this piece here is my opening bit. So I've just made a cut in my page protector from the top of that one all the way down to where it ends down here. And to stop it from ripping um, when you're popping stuff in and out, I've actually put a hole. Sorry, actually it has ripped a little bit, but that's just because I've been in and out of this one so much. Just put a um, circle punch in the top there and down the bottom and then you can cut your slice down there and it will stop it from ripping so much so once you've measured where that's going to go 
pop one of your cutting mats underneath there and then just cut your strip down there so this whole piece now opens up so to, the easiest way to put this is in is to put your bottom piece in so not this one here we're actually going to pop this in on the side here so we're just going to slide it in that cut that you've made so it is going to be a little bit bigger so we're just going to bend it a little bit to get it in started That, and we're just going to push it in gently until we get it in as far as we can possibly go. There we go. So just keep going until you get to the very end. And there. So these little bits will pop inside there. And that one's going to pop inside there as well. There we go. So that now can go back into your album. And this piece here just folds over the top. So that's why we've ended up putting that acetate on that photo because it's not actually protected by your page protector much in there. So I'm just going to put that under there a little bit. That's better. Okay, so this opening piece is on the outside of your page protector and this is on the inside. So all these photos on the inside get protected here. If you want to keep this one protected, I suggest you just put another piece of acetate over that as well. But because you're closing it, it's not exposed as much as this front one is. Okay, so I hope you enjoy that. I hope you give it a try. And we would love to see anything you do on our Craft Amenities Facebook page. So we would just love you to post anything on there that you've been doing lately. We just love seeing what you've done. Thanks for joining me this week. And I will see you again next week. Bye.